Right here. We'll just shoot it right here. This is fine. What, um... Do you have any dreams right now to for your future as a pro wrestler? Like, do you have anything left you want to accomplish? Yeah, I want to quit. I want to get out of this fucking business. I'm sick of this shit. Vince McMahon has single-handedly destroyed the wrestling. The wrestling ain't shit no more, bro. And right now, I'm using wrestling almost as a resume to get to somewhere else. Right now, I'm out in L.A. And I'm hooking up with some people tonight as we speak. I'm on my way out. To go talk to some cats about some movies and shit. This ain't shit but a resume now. Because wrestling can suck my nuts, bro. This business has gone to the drizzling shit. And Vince McMahon has saw to it. And if you understand what I'm saying, it's because I'm eating peanuts. But he has made sure that wrestling is terrible. And I give WWE another year, it's going to be off the fuck. It's going to be off TV. And you're just going to have to just deal with it because he, he done killed it. Don't nobody else want to invest in it. And, and really what they ought to do, they ought to just take wrestling off TV and, and just don't do shit for about two or three years and let it come back up and let some people come in and invest. And it's more comfortable because they, when there's no competition, you get comfortable, you get relaxed, and then the product becomes what it is now. You got a bunch of kids from Ohio Valley. They all work just alike. And you know that they were trained the same school. And they come to WWE, and they get this bullshit money, and they get a dick put in them. Sorry, New Jack ain't doing that. And the business is now the shits. Oops, you saw that money. I got a hole in my lip. And uh, I want out. Right now, this business is like being in prison. I want out. I want to go somewhere else. Please let me out. And I'm leaving. Rich and Rick James. <laughs> How did Vince destroy the business? Like what? How because did... he became the owner of the motherfucker. He got all the money, and he feel like his shit don't stink, and the product is based around him, his son, his daughter, and that fucking uh that triple Herner Hunter Herner Herner who the guy Herner <laughs> Herner Hurst him the triple H dude with the big ass nose and all the band aids on the forehead him. And he done killed it. Vince has killed wrestling. It's just done. It's like a fucking steak at a cookout. It's done. You can't get no more blood out that bitch. It is done. It's brown all the way through. It's charcoal. <laughs> done. It's nigger black. It's slavery black. Black. It's 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 soot black. It's it's done. And you can't get no more out of it. And he has killed it. He done had Triple H on TV pulling shit out of his ass. He done had vampires and he done had blood squirting out people booty and all kind of nasty shit. He done been the superstar in Vince a hundred years old. He done been beating up people. He done let Jerry Lawler get his old decrepitated, dilapidated ass in the ring and beat up people. He done had Star, the guy from Star Trek on beating up. He killed it. He had that old fuck nigga Mr. T on there with his no fucking fighting boxing ass and Ryder Piper beat the shit out of him. He killed it. He killed it. And now it is what it is. It's the shit. Worth the best thing you can see now is me going out to, to a mess like I'm going to do tonight and stab somebody. That's it. Or go see Masaga, go see Masaga, the other thumb cut off. <laughs> it's done, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Fuck him. And Michael Jackson did it. A little fucking pervert. <laughs> like OJ did it and got away with it. <laughs> oh, booty bandit. Let me, let me talk this. Boy. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> so last time I asked you about drugs, what's your opinion now about drugs and wrestling business? Because your opinions change a little bit over the years. No, my opinion ain't changed by shit. You asked me what the drugs in the business, I told you, yeah. And Rokisha came on after me and said, I ain't never seen drugs in the business. The reason you ain't never seen them because you work for Vince McMahon. That's why you ain't never seen them. They're there, bro. Steroids, there. Drugs, there. Cocaine, there. Heroin, there. Crack, there. Marijuana, is there. All this shit is right there. And if you ain't seen it because your name is Ray Charles or Stephen Wonder, that's the only way you could not see it. Talk about it ain't there. You're a goddamn lie. 
It is there. It's always been there. And you done done them too. I done done them. And if the night go on long enough, I'm going to do some more tonight, motherfuckers. I ain't no fucking drugs in business. I will not play that political bullshit game. I cannot play by the rules. I won't play the game. And anybody that know, don't even sit there in front. Ain't no drugs. It was a goddamn lie. I got some in my pocket. <laughs> I'm going to do them in a minute. They might pay me enough. I'm going to let y'all see me do it on video. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ain't no drugs in wrestling shit. So why aren't you a fan of the fans? Like, why don't you like, why don't you like the fan? It ain't that I don't like a fan, Mike. A fan, a, a fan job to do. Pay to come see me. That's where my salary comes from. Uh-huh. When I got hurt back in 99, the fans showed me how much they appreciated New Jack. Did nobody email me? Did nobody call me? Did nobody come see me or nothing? All them old bitches used to run around at the hotel, but they naked. They forgot about New Jack until New Jack came back. And that's when I realized I was just a product. And didn't mean shit no more after that. That's when I started showing up at the fucking hotel. I go do my thing. I go back to the hotel, go in my room, get high or whatever. Get drunk. Get on the plane next day and get the fuck on. Fans are fans. Fans, friends, they don't mix. I got my, some of my cats been down me forever. Before yeah, I was even wrestling, you know what I'm saying? But a fan is a fucking fan. They look at watch you on TV. You come to their house, they'll give up one of their fucking kids to have you in their fucking house. Fuck a fan. This, I mean, I could talk shit about a motherfucking fan and the people that get offended are the fans that sit in the home that had them bought this fucking DVD. So they're fucking fans. They fuck suck. Kiss my ass. Don't fuck about no goddamn fan or fucking bastard. Buy my tape. Email me, talk shit to me. New Jack Uncut 187 at Yahoo. And I'll put a virus in your computer and blow that motherfucker up. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Rick James. Um, I've been drinking tequila, my head hurting. I'm gonna sniff some paint in a minute. <laughs> when you started the wrestling business, like, did you have any dreams or did you have anything you wanted to accomplish when you started out? I ain't never had no dream. I ain't never had, no, for what? I did this shit because people said I couldn't do it. I had no dreams. I ain't never been like Taz. I hate that little cocksucker and little fucking short, fat motherfucker. The dreamer. Not Tommy Dreamer, but Taz is a dreamer. And a rapist. What do Taz, you mean he's a rapist? Taz got locked up in, in, in Pittsburgh one night. Went to the tanning bed. That's before he got, he got this tan. Taz used to be like a white motherfucker with an afro. Then he started tan, he turned orange. And he went to a tanning bed in, in Pittsburgh. And the girl that was working there said, you want me to put this oil on your back, whatever? He said, yeah. And then he said, let me put it on you. So he grabbed her by her titties. At the show tonight, the cop came and locked his ass up. And he in the locker room crying. Call Paulie. Tell Paulie come get me. And then he sat in jail that weekend. I saw Taz that next week. He said, New Jack, I understand how you felt now, man, when you was in prison. I did this weekend in jail. That nigga did 48 hours in jail. I did three years in jail. Come on now. Do they do they do they balance out? You can't compare that bullshit to what I did, you little fuck. And he bought his way out of that. Paid the girl off, she dropped the charges. Come on. He's a rapist. Oh bitch. I ain't doing shit what he ought to do. Announce because he ain't never been able to wrestle. A little fat fucker. No, I don't like him. I ain't ever worked with him. I wish I would. I'd have cut the shit out of him. And now that the uh, the Dudleys are in... Uh... Fuck Doug, Bubba, and Devon. They ain't shit. No, and no. I ain't going to keep entertaining this shit about Bubba and Devon. The only thing written about Bubba and Devon is their fucking fingerprint. Vince took their name, their character, their, 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 their anything similar to them. Vince now owns it. There is two motherfuckers now out there on the block, and the property value of them motherfuckers is dropping. It's like having a condo in South Central. It ain't worth shit. 
And I ain't talking about Bum and Devon no more because I done talked about them. I fucking hate I got an aneurysm. They can suck my dick. Uh, fucking put. They probably butt fucking each other right now. And Bubba probably on top because Devon's the puppet master. Whatever you say, Bubba, I'll do it. Fuck them. Next. Um. I had some. I had some. I was I'm haunted. Okay, how yeah. Where, where do you see the business going in like five years? In the toilet. Straight in the toilet. Straight. I mean, it's going to be all the national TV. You have to find. You'll probably be watching wrestling on the Food Channel at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> in the main event, they'll be in there tossing salad. <laughs> it's going straight to hell. <laughs> it is. It's over, bro. I'm going to Japan. Go over there, you alright. This shit in the States is done. It's over. Why why are you so negative against United USA wrestling? Because USA wrestling is the shit. And don't you sit there and tell me why am I negative? True is true. Facts are facts. If you go to a bank and rob motherfuckers and you get caught, you're going to prison. Wrestling in the U.S. is the drizzling shits now. Unless you and me and a few other people, it's hard to even make a living doing this shit now. What's left? WWE, TNA. I did not just say that. WWE and everybody else. TNA is still what it was in the Jeff Jarrett show. That non-working cocksucker motherfucker and that company is the drizzling shits now. It's on Spike TV. It's done took WWE's place. So, I mean, come on. It's bullshit. And Jared stood out in that paying motherfucker $300. And he owned the contracts and owning the rights to everybody. Fuck Jeff Jared. Fucking bastard. It's the shit. It is what it is. It's the shit. It ain't native about what's in the U.S. Wrestling is the shits now over here in the States. I'm going to fucking uh, 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 Japan and Puerto Rico. Go, re- go meet Ricky Martin. <laughs> I think I heard that Ricky Martin just went to jail or something like that. Are you talking about Ricky Martin? I didn't say Ricky Martin. I thought you said Ricky Martin. Ricky in jail? Yeah. For what? Child support? Yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. Ricky got 57 kids. You ought to be in jail for child support. It ain't my fault. All right, how about this one? I Get on SSI, nigga. You ain't got to pay child support. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. 